Okay, three, four, five, <clears throat> six people here. Okay, you are doing, that's right. Okay, so I think you, you can see the screen share and you can see my face. So task, uh, task six, right, task six. <clears throat> Full credibility for aggregate losses and your premium. This is the uh, next. Uh, next topic that we are going to cover. Uh, this is uh, called uh, Again, <clears throat> week 14 was our the full credibility uh, standard and uh, we are continuing with the number of uh, claims, um, number of claims. So here in this task, the number of claims has a plus on distribution, uh, individual loss amounts independently and identically distributed with Pareto, number and loss amounts are independent. Okay, so we need to calculate those observed aggregate losses and how many are required for full credibility. Okay, we can uh, do that. Uh, the number of claims is possible. This is the first uh, prerequisite that uh, we have to maintain. The first prerequisite we have to maintain. So the number of claims uh, should be what is given unto us. Actually, this is uh, uh, sigma, or sigma, what is the sigma here? This has a Poisson distribution. It should be like sigma squared over mu n, and uh, this should be one by definition. Squared over mu and equals to one. So by, by definition, uh, with the number of claims following Poisson distribution, this thing should hold. And we also know the mean for the Pareto value. The mean for the Pareto value follows this uh, formula. Uh, mu x is beta divided by alpha minus one. So this uh, kind of formula, um, okay, what else do we have to find? We need also to find the variance. The variance is uh, sigma squared sigma squared uh, x. And this is the value of uh, theta squared alpha. Okay, divided by uh, alpha minus one squared times alpha minus two. So it, it, it should be like that, uh, like this. Okay, it should be like this. So what uh, can we actually uh, find out from here? Well, we have the sigma squared. The sigma squared um, the difference between sigma and mu. Okay, the difference between sigma and mu. This should be sigma x divided by mu x and this value will be alpha divided by alpha minus two. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. So now we have to combine uh, those values, the sigma squared and uh, this um, kind of sigma squared over mu squared x. Sigma squared. So this is the formula that we are needing. Right. Hi, Solo. Next, 
uh, we have to combine those frequency and severity together. So how can we combine frequency and severity terms? Uh, the frequency term sigma squared over mu n. So this thing. Then we uh, add plus uh, sigma x over mu x squared plus this. And what, uh, what will be here? Uh, sigma squared over theta alpha minus one. And here is alpha alpha minus two. So actually this uh, thing will equal to two times alpha minus one and alpha minus two. Yeah, pretty, pretty logical. So from the standard distribution, we again know this uh, Q norm of uh, probability is given 0, 9, uh, 95. So Q norm is 9.75. And uh, <clears throat> for the full credibility, we are going to use this uh, Q norm divided by, so what actually we're trying to find out, and as how many losses, number of losses. Q norm divided by 0 0.05 squared. Um, this is the sigma squared times two. And here is alpha minus one, alpha minus two. So alpha is given, alpha is three. So here is uh, three minus one, two. And uh, divided by three minus two, one. So this is it. Mm. And as Q norm, Q norm divided by zero zero five two times two. So what is the NS? NS is six thousand one hundred, and again we have to apply the rounding procedure. Rounding procedure and uh, provide this uh, value as a, as a result. So <clears throat> what we have actually did, we combined the frequency and severity distributions together. Here's the uh, formula of the combination. Uh, then we have the supposition uh, that alpha equals three, then our number of uh, uh, number of losses and s is calculated, calculated like that. So if different alpha values just uh, maintain this um, alpha minus one and alpha minus two a little bit different and you'll, uh, you'll be okay, okay? So this is the prerequisite in front of this formula, okay? Times two times alpha minus one times alpha minus two. So please be uh, careful here. Alpha is given here, three and three. That's why we uh, calculate two times two. And in front is uh, this uh, this thing over here, okay? So is it clear how many losses? So this much. All right, hope you will be able to grasp. Uh, more importantly, you have uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday to solve this, so don't worry about time. You will have plenty of options. Okay, task seven, task seven. Full credibility for severity. Uh, hold on, not, not that. Well, what is happening? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I have, a, I have a Discord. Yeah, I close the Discord. 
Okay, so <clears throat> uh, full credibility for severity. Individual loss amounts are independently and identically distributed. Um, task alpha is free is given here. That's why we, we replaced instead of, yes, replaced alpha instead of uh, free instead of here. Two times uh, two times, uh, okay, we divide it. Well, we, we have to divide somewhere. Like that, divide it. Okay. Two times two divided by uh, three minus one. So divided uh, three minus two. So divided by one. That's why we end up with that. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. Now full credibility for, for severity. Um, Type two Pareto distribution affects how many claims are required for average severity of observed claims to be within 5% of the expected severity. Okay, <clears throat> so how can we uh, solve that? Uh, the mean, actually, uh, the mean value of the Pareto. What is the mean value of the Pareto? We already uh, placed uh, here mu x is theta over alpha minus one. So this is the mean value of our Pareto distribution. Uh, then the variance, uh, once again, is uh, this um, thing, sigma squared alpha, um, sigma squared alpha over, let, let us place the brackets, squared brackets around, in order not to get confused. Okay, so divided by squared brackets. This is our sigma squared. Okay, so uh, sigma x over mu x, sigma x over mu x squared is alpha over alpha squared. This is the same value. Okay, <clears throat> actually you are, already know how to solve this kind of task because it is really, really, really close to what we have just covered. So our, our task is how many claims are required for the average NS. So we need to calculate the same kind of um, here and X, and X instead of NS. Uh, the initial is the same the afterwards will be alpha or alpha minus two. So this is the prerequisite. Um, norm 0.975.4005 squared, then times, okay, how, how much will be? Round this round x will be approximately this number. So then we need to provide alpha divided by alpha minus two. So this is the uh, the thing. Uh, alpha is not uh, given. Let's again suppose that alpha is three. Uh, in this case, you use the alpha, which is given. Alpha equals three. And then our NX can be calculated. So our NX is 4,611. And this is the, uh, this is the result we provide to Moodle, okay? So two tasks are really tied together. Uh, here, instead of, um, instead of mixing the frequency and severity, we just end up with the series with the second part. This is the second part, okay? So I think uh, there should be no questions here.
alpha will be given. Okay, so uh, now we are moving to Bullman credibility. This is uh, week 15. Bullman credibility. For any risk policyholder in the population, mm -hmm. the number of losses as a Poisson distribution is parameter lambda. So this is the table where the Poisson parameter lambda is specified, 0 0.51 and 2. Then there are Pareto parameters, theta and alpha. Alpha is uh, fixed, theta is different. Okay. Um, for any risk, plus on individual loss amounts for risk independent and IIDs, there are three types of risks for the population as follows. So there might be um, different uh, different questions asked, but, but uh, generally we will stick with the uh, the same kind of question as in problem nine. So use Bullman credibility to estimate annual expected aggregate loss for the risk. So we have to estimate the aggregate loss here also. So how can we uh, estimate uh, this value? Task eight. Um, first of all, what is the expected number of uh, claims for a, a risk? Uh, this is the lambda. The expected value for a Pareto distribution, we also have specified this is it. For Pareto distribution, it is theta divided by alpha minus one. The expected value of aggregate loss random uh, variable S is the sum of X1 plus X2 and so on for a risk with parameter lambda, alpha and theta. So uh, the expected value ES is uh, value of number of claims and uh, these values ex and uh, we know that uh, lambda is the en expected number of uh, claims and expected of claims Yes, uh, is the expected value severity or uh, loss? Okay, yes, is loss expected loss. Uh, so lambda times uh, theta divided by alpha minus one. So this is the uh, formula we need to provide to calculate or yes, aggregate loss. Now uh, we have three types of risks and uh, considering that everything is uh, quite simple. Everything is quite simple. So we start with 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times uh, theta, theta is 1000 and 1000. Uh, divided by alpha minus one. So alpha minus one everywhere will be two minus one if this is one, so divided by one. So this is the uh, aggregate loss for a risk of type A, okay? The aggregate loss is 500. So we just uh, sum two other parameters, uh, zero point, percent of population. So here will be 0 0.5 times those value plus 0 0.3, 30% of population times um, one times 1,500. That the value is 1,500 uh, plus 0 0.2, 20% of population times 20, uh, not 22, was on parameter two times 2000. Yes, that was 2000. Uh, everywhere we divide by one, 
just uh, not to be confused because if alpha value is a little bit different, so you will have to divide on this uh, alpha minus one. Okay. Uh, this is the value. I expect the aggregate loss ES ES equals two, and you provide this value one thousand five hundred. Okay. Any questions here? The, the task will be given like uh, use boom on credibility to estimate annual expected aggregate loss. This is the task for problem eight. All right. Uh, so, two last uh, questions problem nine and problem 10. These are already for the week. Uh, 16 the last the last week we were talking about Bullman and Bullman and Stab credibility parameters. So Bullman credibility actually task eight is also was Bullman credibility, but now we extend it a little bit. So <clears throat> Here we need to do what? We need to specify the, uh, do you remember those EPV, VHM, uh, things we were calculated on our uh, week uh, 16. <clears throat> so for any risk in a population, the number of uh, losses and in a year has a Poisson distribution with lambda. Uh, we have also exponential distribution here. And use Bullman credibility to estimate the annual expected aggregate loss for a risk. Okay. Uh, so we start with uh, the uh, loss amounts. Loss amounts are exponentially distributed. Uh, what does it mean? That uh, expected value of uh, Amount is beta, ex equals beta, and variance x equals beta squared. Okay, so this is exponential parameter actually, like here in the Pareto, this is called beta equals to 1000. Uh, here I will write that Poisson parameter, this is lambda, so lambda equals 0 0.5 like here, okay? So beta, uh, beta and beta squared, uh, these are the loss amounts. Uh, aggregate loss is the sum of these loss amounts. So the mean ES, ES is uh, the same as here. How many of them? And the process variance, variance S is the, how many times variance, how hard, plus ex squared times variance n. So mu plus sigma squared times uh, those variances. Okay, let me place it in the formula. So this is it. And now what we have, we have the Poisson frequency and um, exponential distributed loss amounts. So for Poisson frequency, for Poisson frequency ES will be a lambda times beta. Here in the exponential loss we, we have had lambda times theta over that and uh, uh, exponential mu, uh, not, not the exponential, the uh, Pareto mu equals to theta over alpha x here in task seven, right? Mu x. Here mu is just beta. That's why we're using single value of beta in this formula. All right, <clears throat> then a variance. Variance S, that's a little bit more complicated. This is lambda 
times beta squared plus beta squared times lambda. Uh, so here will be two times lambda beta squared. Two times lambda times beta squared. So this is the formula, two times lambda times beta squared. And uh, actually now we are ready to calculate. So first we start with the population mean. Uh, what does it mean population mean? Um, risks are 0.5% of population, 0.5 times 1000 beta parameter because it is the expected value of how many of them? This will 500, then 30% times that, 20% times, times that. This will be the population mean. And we know that the population mean should be 1,500. Okay, let's calculate the mu equals, mu equals 0 0.5 times 1,000 plus 0 0.3 times plus 0 0.2 times 2,000, okay? This is mu. Then uh, VHM, VHM, 0 0.5 times uh, difference 500, the first value, 0 0.5 times 1,000, this is 500 minus uh, the value which we obtain. So our new, new value is, okay, new value is zero, 1,350. Hmm. 1,350 total amount of losses is two, three and a half, four and a half. Why the total amount of losses is 5,000 and it's kind of awkward. Zero point five times five hundred, then one one ten. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. I haven't been using those correctly. Zero point five times one thousand one times one thousand. 500, two times. So new values will be those parameters. So yeah, uh, here is the formula and we just need to maintain the Poisson parameters inside. Okay, 0 0.5. This is one and this is two. So the new value should be larger. It is 1,500, okay, minus mu, minus mu squared plus 0 0.3 times uh, 1,500 minus mu squared plus plus. <clears throat> 0 0.2 times uh, 2,000 minus mu squared. So VHM, VHM is uh, again a little bit larger than I have expected, 0 0.2. Five hundred, one thousand, four, four thousand, four thousand. Replace the squared. So this is the zero point two times two times uh, two thousand. Okay, two times two thousand is four thousand. Okay. VHM is 
uh, this volume, 1 million seven hundred and fifty thousand. That's okay. Then EPV. EPV. These are the uh, processes variances should be uh, calculated two times 0 0.5 times 1000 squared. Um, 1 million. So EPV will be. Uh, okay, hold on. This is per sigma to A. Then will be sigma to B. Then will be sigma three to B and C. Yeah. So two uh, times uh, zero point five one thousand. Two times here is parameter uh, lambda one. Here is uh, parameter two. Two thousand one thousand five hundred. Okay. Okay. Then EPV. EPV uh, will be sigma A, let me show. Sigma A is 1 million, sigma B, four and a half, and sigma C is the uh, 16 million, right? Okay. EPV is the sum of those 0 0.5, 50% of population times sigma. A plus 0 0.3 times sigma B and 20% uh, plus 0 0.2 times sigma C. Okay, so we have uh, found the EPV value. So my no found sigma 2. Now EPV is found. EPV is actually five uh, million fifty. Then what will what is the what is the task? Use Bowman to expect the aggregate loss. Expect the aggregate loss is not EPV, uh, but um, uh, the total amount of losses is five thousand. Okay. Then we have to divide <coughs> x by is uh, 5,000 over five. And this is 1,000 K value. Again, uh, remembering what is K parameter, it is EPV over VHM, the K value is uh, 289 approximately. And Z, there were five years of observation, so N equals five, and Z uh, parameter for Bullman credibility is five over five plus K. So Z, Z value is 0 0.63. And uh, the result for uh, this task, mu theta, what we actually have to find Z times 1000, plus one minus Z times 1,500. So this is the value mu theta, and it should be approximately, let, let us round this value. And this value is the one you provide, 1,183. So this is the expected aggregate loss for the risk. Uh, expected aggregate loss. No, we don't have to round it up. We just provide like what we have. New set. Okay, so you provide this value. 1,189, 82.971. Okay, so this is the uh, whole thing about the boom on credibility and we are only left with uh, one uh, problem. Actually, everything should be pretty fine here. Risk, five year period, the total amount of losses, aggregate risk, so 1,000 and 1,500, we were using those two, the first two values. And task 
10, the last one. The last one. It is uh, concerned with uh, Bullman and Straub credibility. The final thing that we have uh, covered, uh, the final thing that we have covered. <clears throat> what is given here? We have the uh, commercial automobile policy holder. And we need to calculate the expected number of claims, actually. Use to estimate the expected number of policyholder claims in year four. So we suppose that our table is prolonged and there is the single row of number four. Okay, let's uh, try to uh, solve this kind of task. Parameter is distributed among policyholders, 18 vehicles in year four. Okay. So first of all, uh, the expected number of claims for one vehicle uh, for a randomly chosen policy holder is uh, mu, and uh, mu is the expected value of lambda. And this uh, value is, which one? Which one, which one? The number of claims for some value lambda. PDF, so we are given the PDF, six lambda times one minus lambda. Okay, so this will be, this will be six lambda, one minus lambda, or d lambda, so we need to calculate the integral here. So the expected, uh, the function will be the same, the expected value is just 0 0.5. How can we calculate this is the integral from zero to one of uh, lambda times this value six lambda one minus lambda. So from PDF we calculate those value which is 0 0.5 actually. We'll recognize, uh, yes, we we'll recognize, and this is 0 0.5. Like that. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the expected number of claims per one vehicle, which is 0 0.5. 50% of uh, vehicles will uh, have some accident. The average number of claims per vehicle. What is the average number of claims per vehicle? This is the number of claims. Uh, how many of them? 13. How many vehicles we have? 36. So what we have? Uh, we have the EPV which is the same as E lambda, and EPV will be 13 over 36. I divided the sum of number of claims over the sum of number of vehicles. Okay, then uh, VHM, or why EPV is, EPV is the probability. EPV is probability, why did I divide it? No, this is X, X bar, this is X, mean value of X. And the PV is uh, 0 0.5. It is uh, the same as E lambda, okay? Okay, then VHM, VHM is the variance of lambda. What is the variance of lambda? It is the same as if we, uh, take the expected value of the lambda squared minus uh, E lambda squared. So the variance will be uh, considering that the function uh, will be the same for the last question. I'm just, uh, I'm just using that as the three tenth minus one fourth. This will be 